Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today's vlog will be all about hiking. We're currently in England's, well, one of England's most beautiful areas. It's called Peak District. It's located about um, three or three and a half hours driving from London. And we're currently based in the heart of Peak District in a place called Castleton. We drove here on Friday night after work and we stayed at a hostel called YHA Yacht Hostel in Castleton. It was about £60 overnight for a private room with private bathroom, which is not cheap, but it's the high season. It wasn't great to sleep there, uh, so we had a sleepless night, sort of, but look how stunning this place is from the outside. And the best part are these tables outside. So that's actually how we started our day. In the morning around 8 and the stunning view. So the hostel is actually about 10 to 15 minutes away from the Castleton Centre where all the pubs and restaurants are where you can have breakfast but the good thing about this place is actually that you can get a, a pub, breakfast pub right there at the reception. I think it cost about four pounds per person. I got one with a sausage, Pepper got one with bacon and they were great. By 8.30 we already finished our breakfast and started our hike. We were really lucky because the path actually starts in Castleton and goes through the place right next to the hostel. So the only thing we had to do is to open the gate and exit the hostel and the track was just at our doorstep. I must admit that we picked the best day to hike Peak District because we were monitoring the weather in there for about three or four weeks and every single day it was rainy but we picked the only sunny day uh, we saw in the calendar and it was amazing because honestly it was really warm, it was sunny, not even a single drop of rain and we actually even managed to get a bit sunburned. So make sure to bring a bit of sunscreen with you if you're visiting in summer and it's supposed to be sunny. So the climb, or I would say the ascent in the beginning, was a bit steep. Um, not challenging at all, but just a bit steep. Um, but the views were rewarding. Just look how stunning it is. Actually, when we started in the morning, it was a bit chilly. So we wore uh, jackets, but... Um, Actually, just after 30 minutes after we started the hike, Pepe had to get rid of his extensions of his shorts. So he wanted to make his trousers shorter because it was really, really warm. And to be honest, I was quite envious because unfortunately I couldn't do the same. Well, maybe next time. If you're curious which route did we use, we actually downloaded an app called All Trails about two weeks ago. And uh, well, it's a free app, it also has a premium subscription, uh, which we didn't use um, since there is internet along the route um, and we were able to use 3G and 4G. So on this app, we found this route. It was called something like Mom Tour and Loose Hill from Castleton. I will leave the link in the description box down below so you would be able to access the route if you want. Uh, basically, I do recommend this app and I really enjoyed this route as well because the views were stunning. It was, um, I wouldn't say it's challenging, but it was, um, it was nice, it was rewarding. But I must admit that you do need a good physical condition to uh, hike this route. We are actually almost, almost there. So by there, I mean the top of the Mum Tour. Mum Tour actually means the kind of mother hill. And I don't know why is it called mother. I think I read that it is kind of like higher than the neighboring hills. So it's like the mother of all those hills. It took us about an hour or an hour and a half to get to the top of Mom Tour from the hostel. Uh, but of course, there are easier routes. Actually, the easiest one is to come close to Mom Tour. There is, a, well, I think it's slightly illegal parking at the edge, well, at the doorstep of Mom Tour. But I think it's pretty much 
it's much more rewarding to just hike there from a further away. So Mount Tor is 517 meters tall, not the highest mountain in a uh, peak district, but not the smallest one, of course. It's kind of right, right in the middle, maybe closer to the highest mountains. We had a short break on top of Mount Tor with some snacks and stunning views. And actually, if we wanted to hike longer, we would be able to go to Kinder Scout, that mountain you see right on the screen right now. Uh, but it would add another 17 kilometers to our route and probably another four and a half hours. And you need to add to that actually getting back to Castleton from here. So we would, we would probably need to skip going to Liverpool later today. We started going down at about 11 or around 11.30 and we have noticed that it got significantly busier. So if you want to have it for yourself, come early in the morning. And actually, when we were leaving Castleton um, a few hours later, we realized there was no parking, nothing left. It was so, so busy. If you're hiking on a sunny or just warm day, make sure to bring a lot of water with you. However, we only had um, one bottle and we managed to refill it at this camping place that was on the route um, on the way back to Castleton. There is also a tiny shop here, so you would be potentially able to buy some ice cream if you want. So at this moment, the actual kind of climbing and hiking part was over. And I wish it was slightly longer, but Peak District is not the most famous mountain place in the UK. Probably, um, well, people go for hiking mainly in Lake District in England, in Highlands in Scotland, and in Snowdonia in Wales. We actually really, really love hiking and during the lockdown, when we were obviously not able to travel internationally anywhere, we rediscovered our love for hiking and we're actually quite grateful we have something like Peak District just three hours driving away. Well, sometimes I am a bit envious of Europe and I wish we had Alps around here in England as well. But yeah, we obviously don't have anything as dramatic as the Alps. We still have to go to Ben Nevis in, in Scotland and hike the tallest mountain in the UK. So right now we are officially descending. We are almost at Castleton. You can even see the Peveril Castle from here. And this was probably the most challenging part of the route, just because there are so many stones and they were prone to falling down. So they were quite slippery and I imagine when it's raining they could be very slippery, so be careful. Even now, on a very sunny day, there was a tiny stream going through the gorge, so it could be very slippery when it's raining. So we are finally in Castleton. Our hike was supposed to take about 4 hours 45 minutes according to the route, but we were actually able to complete the entire journey in under 4 hours. We treated ourselves to a really, really good soup in one of the pubs and um, realized that Castleton is absolutely packed with people. Another reason to come earlier or just not on a sunny day? In Castleton, I noticed ice cream shops around every corner, so we decided to pick one and try the ice cream there. Well, spoiler alert, it was actually really, really good, so I definitely recommend trying an ice cream. It's supposed to be locally made, so yeah, it's probably one of local specialties. Another stunning pub in Castleton, really worth visiting, and it's so old. So this is actually the end of the route. We finally arrived at our car. As I said, the, it took us about 3 hours 50 minutes to get um, to complete the entire circular route. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you are planning to repeat the same route, I will leave um, the link to our route in all trails down below in the description box. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, please do. Um, you might see a lot of um, UK travel content in the future and hopefully a bit of international travel. And see you guys in the next video.
Bye.